Just wanted to jump on here. I'm already starting to choke up. Ah, had a buddy of mine just pass away. He did work with me. He was diabetic. It had nothing to do with everything that's going on. Years ago, he had a splinter in his finger and got infected and he just couldn't kill the infection with any antibiotic and lost his finger and then it was his leg and I knew him well. Hit me pretty hard. I didn't think it would, but it did. So with that being said, reach out to people. Just talk to them, call them, say hi. Talk about the weather. Tell them what you're doing, what you're thinking. It's important. So I'm holding this here in my hand. I don't know if you've seen the other video. Uh, the other cover, I wore two holes in it. And I fixed it temporarily. Put a Band-Aid on it, put a piece of steel here. It'll work for a while. It's a thin piece of metal. But uh, when I originally called to get a price on this part, they said it was 300 and some dollars. So I ordered it and went down and they handed me the all steel housing. This here is plastic. Uh, I brought the old one so they can see the one that I had to compare to make sure it was the right one. So the manager came out and he swore up and down that's the one that I needed even if I was showing them what was originally on the mower, on the altar vac. Uh, why, why am I holding myself accountable for customer service? You know, when I make a mistake or whatever, and I'm not asking for anything for free, but why are you going to stand there and tell me that I have the wrong one? <laughs> Customer service is not what it used to be. You know, really, that's the secret. You're, you're not going to win every customer. It's just not going to happen. But spending time and talking to somebody and explaining the process of what you're going to do on the property, whether it's a cleanup, mowing, uh, install, patio, walkway, whatever it might be. That is really the secret, is to spend time with the client and communicate and not only build value in you with the client, but in the project. But yeah, customer service. It's not what it is or was. <laughs> uh, running a little behind on my videos. Usually I have two or three in the queue on YouTube. And uh, my buddy's passing just took the wind out of me a little bit. And uh, that's life. It happens. I understand. I knew him well. Sometimes I think I could, if I would have just called a few more times and spent time with him or something. Me and his son actually would take care of his lawn and I would snow plow once in a while for him when it got deep. But uh, makes you think, right? Questioned everything. Hey, by the way, I wanted to share something else and I am not being paid to share this. I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, there's a guy, and you may have already heard this. There's a guy that put a, a trailer and a mower and equipment all together, and I think it's still going on. Contest. Corey Ballard, Ballard Products, and I have ordered some stuff from him. It is, it, I haven't had any complaints, instructions, everything was there. I like his message. I like what he's doing. I like his, his business mindset. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys about it. There's a link in the description. Go check it out. Enter the win the trailer. If I win, I will double my crew size. Right. That's another thing. People that are thinking about starting a company from scratch, buying equipment and everything, here's my suggestion, and that's all it is, suggestion. With everything going on the way it is, 
I highly recommend getting into a good company and working for somebody. If you're going to start from scratch, now if you may have some equipment, go for it. But if you're starting from scratch and this is what you want to do, get in with somebody and learn. You know, I watch Spencer's Lawn Care. I watch Brian's Lawn Maintenance. I watch all these guys because I want to learn. I don't know at all, never will. And uh, I think if you, whether you're young, middle-aged, whatever, you're looking for work, get out there and experience some of the things. <laughs> Make some mistakes on their dime. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love me for saying that, but no, really, in seriousness, serious, all seriousness. Uh, that is my recommendation. Check out BallardInc.com. The link's in the description. He is not paying me to say that. I buy his shirts. I got some, the shoot, the Van Shoot blocker. I bought a couple other things from him and I'm pleased with it. Uh, he's hustling, he's working hard and, and then some, and he's giving back to the community, which I think is just tremendous. I think if people can give back and my way, I'm trying to give back into the videos. Uh, I'm trying to get better at that, learn to speak better and you know, put some ideas together and not just show you how to trim grass or something. But if that's something you want to see, I have no problem showing you. Do I know it all? Never will. I might be able to find out the answer for you if you have a question. I just had a reply to one of my, it was on the oil changing video uh, about an oil filter. You know, I might be wrong in using the wrong Fram oil filter, but I'm saving a dollar. Now, is that dollar that I'm saving going to destroy my engine? Don't know yet. Anyway, going to make this short. I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance. Hope everybody has a, a blessed day. Stay safe and work hard. And uh, to all the new guys that want to get into the business, I highly recommend finding somebody in your area whether it's a big company. I know in my area, all the bigger companies, they're looking for guys. Uh, even the smaller companies. I mean, I take on the work that I can handle myself. Sometimes I bring on some part-time help, but uh, that's just where I'm at. So I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance. Everybody stay safe, work hard. See you next Tuesday.